Hi, I'm Hannah Chun. I was once addicted to drugs. Yeah, and I gave birth to my baby in prison. I was eight. My parents, they end up with a divorce. Mum packed up and she left. I felt abandoned. I felt rejected. I felt um, also I'm not important. Yeah, and that was very painful. When I was around 13 years old, I actually dropped out of school. So I started working in a nightclub from smoking, drinking, and I ended up taking drugs and I ended up um, being addicted to it. I was caught twice. The first time when I was caught, I was about 16, 17 years old. Yeah. And after coming out of prison, very quickly I went back. I went into prison pregnant, so I was five months pregnant. You don't have any special treatment. You just have probably one additional blanket and <laughs> two extra slices of bread for dinner. So I gave birth in KKH. I had my ankle cuffed to the bed. When I was growing up, I only knew God through my parents. I thought that you know God will punish people if they misbehave. In prison, there's nowhere else worse than there. I thought, you know, it's the best time where I can go back to Him and pray and probably um, establish a relationship with Him. So as I worship Him, I felt His presence. So when I prayed, um, as I closed my eyes, I felt the room lit up. I managed to stay clean for a while, yeah, but I went back to the usual job, yeah, and I went back to drinking, smoking, and I went back to the vicious cycle. When I was addicted again, I felt the effects of drug on my body. So I felt my body was falling apart. I looked haggard, my skin was turning yellowish, and my hair was falling out. It's like a dying person. I couldn't even hold a job. I couldn't even go out and you know take a taxi to the next destination. The addiction was so bad that, you know, even as my body was feeling so much pain, I can't stop. My son was about three and he was acting up in school a lot. He was also mimicking some of my actions like uh, picking up a cigarette, going in and out of the toilet at the lowest. And when I was really without any more strength, um, someone from the nightclub actually invited me to church. So I went to church feeling very ashamed of myself, very condemned, very broken. Um, I actually thought that God would expose something in my life, but it didn't turn out that way. Yeah, all I heard was that He welcomed me home with open arms. Yeah, He accepted me and so I was in church every week um, I was listening to sermons and really hungry even <laughs> when I was still deep in addiction. In 2009, there was a shortage of that particular drug that I was addicted to and it didn't come into Singapore for a month. Yeah, It did not happen before throughout my you know, years of knowing drugs and being addicted. But for that month, I felt okay. You know, when I tried the drug again, it did not taste like the very drug that I crave all my life. It, it, it doesn't have that same taste. It was not nice. And, and then one day the Lord told me, you don't really need it anymore. You don't need it at all. So, yeah, so I was convinced then that I could give up 